friends welcome back to a kind of a different video I'm gonna call this an extra video because hey that's kind of what it is I just did filmed my haul and I'm getting ready to just processing right now to edit and I thought I'm gonna stick these away put everything away but I thought you know what I get so many questions about how I organize different ideas so let's get into it why don't, why don't I just film one so normally I use a bunch of these and I will be using some of these as well in my bit this is an organizational <laughs> kind of a video but I also have these two these are from um, crafting room planner you can see the how large this one is actually a little bit taller people put it down at the bottom so this is just a, like an inch taller she has like some three different sizes and I have been using these for like monthly stuff and then this is for my TPC nation and work planner kind of idea it's kind of how I've been using them and I have never transitioned them over to anything like this yet I don't know if I will but because this is working for me so why if it ain't broke why fix it right um, but Anyway, it is what it is, but I have, I just thought I'll show you what I have in all these and then why I'm putting things away. But I just did this haul and I very specifically got things that I needed for um, my TBC Nation planner. Um, I do not have stickers. These are ones I do not have and I actually, and I'll show you, I even put in here what I ordered, right? And I have everything sectioned off. So, um, so that's what I kind of did. So, and I, then I have the the B6, these are the um, monthlies, which I was, I'm deciding if I want to put these in my monthly or if I want to put them in here because it's a TPC Nation. This is another monthly that I got and I added these on for it. So I put that there. So those are monthlies and then these are kits and then these are scripts and these are all intended to be used in this planner. So these, the TPC Nation planner, the hybrid one. So that's why I have them all here. So that's what I did is I usually just break down when I get stickers in I kind of I, I tend to save some a little bit and then and then I'll break them up obviously I've already broken these up to what I want in different in a different situation and then in this one here so hopefully that's being said but I have these date strips I didn't even use these for September but I have a couple other months I have month stickers in here my time strips these I love from crafting and planner and you can get different times these are different times and then I end up just because you can retime your oh, it's over on the other chair but you can retime the time section but I end up using these on boxes for appointments to put the time there and use it that way. And these are just strips that I use in my Hobonichi. Again, these are just different times. I, she started, at, her first one starts at 6, and I think she has one that starts at 10. So I've got the different sections, so I have all the different times. And I love her little, these are just little check boxes. And then here's all my scripts. And I've broken them down all into different scripts here. I have appointments, budgets, cleaning, um, goals, my grandchildren time home, um, household meals, um, memories, recipes, and this is like my savings tracker, self-care, weather, workouts, um, and then this is, this is a freebie, I got work, this is support, this is, so these are all, these are all, I think in here, are my work ones, right? Yeah, I have social media in here, these are all work ones, and then my grandkids, and then th these are my currently stickers, and then I have another section here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick all these because these are the ones I'm going to be using for. Um, these are all to be to mark with my TBC hybrid. So I'm just going to keep all my scripts together for that one and just stick it in one of these here. Um, I'll probably reorganize these a little bit better, but for now, when I'm doing the planner, I pull them out anyway. So I have doubles of everything, so I'll probably put some and then I'll, I'll switch them out. But then I ordered, I said it, so I have these per month, right? And I put them all per month. So this is January. And I said exactly what I ordered. And it says Snowy Winter from Craft England Planner. And then I ordered the New Year's Eve kit from Perfect Prints Co. So I know my, when I got it, this is my craft, my Perfect Prints Co. And then my Craft England Planner is right here as well. So let's see. So I kind of, when I was, what I did was I'm really trying hard to use what I have. I'm going to stick this in between so I don't lose it. So there's the two kits that I ordered. So I'm gonna and I'm going to order use them I think in this order. But anyway, I, I'm trying to use what I have, and so I went through and counted everything, counted the weeks to see what I was short. And so now I know when I go to plan in January, I have this everything here. So I'll just mark those off that I received them both, and then I'll move on. So February, I'm I, I need four kits, and I don't think I think I have all four in here is what I was saying. But I have four see one two three and four yep I have four in there and then I have March I I need I need I think I said I need three but I ordered the Thunder one from the Craft England Planner to go in here so I think that's what I 
said. So here is my Craft Penguin Planner, my Thunder one. And that goes in here. So I think I, that's what I mean. I have three kits total, so now I have four. And then I ordered that one and I received it. So I'll put it in here. So that's, that's why I know this is my, my March section for this particular planner. And then April, I only have one kit. And you can see May, I have two kits. So now I believe I ordered some of these for both of those. So let's just see what I did here. So books. And oh, this, these go in another section. So I'll move these over. And then I got this one, which I thought this, this coffee one is so cute for. So this is one. This isn't. But I'm going to keep them together for now. Because I'm going to want to use this on the week that I use this. So I'm going to put these in April. So now I'm going to put two on here. So I know I have two kits in here. So I know I still know that I need to get, um, I think there's four weeks, so I need to get two more. But I was waiting because I thought, well, you know what, spring will come and maybe people will have new releases, right? And then May, I think I got this book one for May because this is my birthday month and I love, 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 love um, reading. So we'll put this one in here. Oops, I don't want to mess up the stickers and then I'll put three on here so this is kind of how I do it so that I know I'm planning I know what I have and on you can go through here and see I have zero for June zero for July August I have three September I have three October I have three November I have two and December I have two so that's how I do it I keep it organized this way it's super super convenient for me um, I just throw them I want to I know I, this is for all next year I'll just go to December pull them out pick the one I want for that week and then over here I have Hobonichi stuff and I, I get that from Craft Penguin Planner and some setup stuff that I need to go through and this is all stuff I've used in my Hobonichi these kinds of things and I know that that's what they are so they're all right there for me to use and this is the only kit that I have right now I don't use kits very often next it's a work planner as a matter of fact you guys will see only a setup during vlog with Planmas but um, I do have a few things from her coming that I'm really excited about as well. So that's everything there. I think I've decided to go ahead and put these in my... I'm really torn here. I think I'm going to put them in my monthlies here. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to keep all the monthlies there. So if I go for any monthly, it'll be there. So I actually probably should get the larger, a larger one of these. And that's why I haven't switched them over because some of these are larger than the Simply Gilded things. And they're just too difficult to cut down. So, there's that. Now let me go, go ahead and put these in here. So again, as I'm starting to plan for next year and see, this is another kit I need to put away in the holidays. Um, let me look over here. I don't think I have any monthlies in this one. These are just kits I need to put away. And again, I just did a haul on all this. Yeah, those are kits, right? Yeah, this is a monthly right here. So let me grab this one. Mm -hmm. Put that over there and this is all different stuff over here so this is just how I do it and again I'm just sharing because you guys seem to like when I share these kinds of ideas with you so I already know like I have extra stuff in here so this is January it's I have one left from last year but I know I can reuse it in my journal because I'm still putting together um, pictures so I'm probably going to utilize that in my picture album because I'm going to compile that all at the end. So this is my January section. I always start with the scripts from Ex Mama Plans. This is all Ex Mama Plans. I have a coupon code for her. It's January 15. I don't make anything on it. It's just a coupon code for you guys. So anything that I feel is January themed, I put in here. So this is for my monthly setup and anything like that, right? So I already know right now, and I put the script right there. Yes, I did. I already know that I have a kit. So I'm going to go right to it. And here it is. So this is my January kit. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in one of these, probably this one. And I just stick it in here. So I know when I'm setting up for any of my planners, whether it be um, an A5 wide, a B6, or like Astology, or um, um, I also use I use these in my, my B6 Wonton Millions. I also use them on my Hobonichis. So anything January that I feel is January themed is here. And then we go on to February. It's the same thing with February. I don't have, I have hardly anything for February right now because... I have used everything, which is good. I like I like to see that, right? That I've used it. It makes me very happy. But I got these scripts. She had them this year. Oh, you know what? I just forgot to put one thing away. Let me grab it. Because she just, uh, Excel Mama Plans, who is my freaking favorite. I love her so much. She did these. 
So I just saw them, where are they? Here they are. So these are her new ones for this year. So I want to put that in. She hasn't released she hasn't released a, anything else yet, just these. So I'm going to stick them in with here, with that section. And I know they're both in there. Okay, so on to February. That's the one for February. Now March. Again, these are I'll use it. I'll use this one last one here in my fo photo album. So I have a printable kit in here, you can see. So I'll probably use that one already. And then I have a smaller one here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in there as well. I'm going to put it on top. So it's, I'll probably put it on top of this one because it's a lot bigger and I can see something's behind it. So these are like my monthly kits. And my intention is just I want to count what I have and use what I have first. So then I have April. And again, this is a printed kit there. There's April. This is another kit. So I have a fair amount of kits in here that I don't feel like I need to um, buy any kits for, May, for April. I love that they're not dated. This is when I print it. And when I print it, I just leave it in here. And then May. And I'm going to use this wine one for May. So... Again, I have a lot of kits for May because it's my birthday month and <laughs> I like to have options. So let's put this one back here. And then I'll know that one is for that. Then June. And these are both, I want, think I'm going to use these both in June. This one is for my Disney planner. I just want to make sure I don't lose that, so I'm going to put it in front. I think I'll put that one in July. So I have these that I, I was getting these, um, just one the one-page kits from... This one is from Nikki Plus 3. She had them last year. And then also I have them from, um, what's her name? Jessica Hartz. So anyway, this is an old one, but I still reuse these, so why not? June, and then here's July. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick this one in here. Let's we'll stick it right here. And then towards the back of here, so I have all the months in here. I don't know why we're doing all to show you. Go through September, October. November. Let me put this one away. I'm about to set that up. November. And then I have, oh, I'm going to put these back in here. Here. For when I'm setting up, I use these there. Um, anyway, November and then December. Then after that, it goes into note pages. And this is my, um, this is my Hobonichi. See, I have all my months in here. That's why I wanted to put the other ones in here. And this is set up stuff. So you can see my monthly scripts. I'm going to put this one in here. And I have like monthly scripts from her. Um, wacky holidays. Oh, this is in a, like little journaling boxes. So anything to set up in is everything in the back right here. So that's how I have all this set up. Any dates, any, anything. I want to tell you, these were cover-ups that I didn't use, but I will reuse them. Because the thing about these is, even though it has the date there, this will eventually come back in. I can just wipe those out. So I have a bunch of stuff in here. So anything for setting up. These are different days. So they can go in here. Whoops. And I have monthly scripts. Those are from Scribble Prints Co. They're very old. Holidays. These are I love these from Raindrops on Paper Co. And then I have a few things back here for birthdays, bills, and these are like checking my filters and different password savers, different countdowns, and some dots. So these are just ones I stick back here. So anything that I need to set up a monthly for any of my planners is here. So that's kind of how I did that. So now let me show you the other way I do this. And again, this has just been kind of a random video. I hope you guys are enjoying it. But here are the kits. So I very specifically have, I have a very specific album for travel kits because I travel a lot. So I'll put that in one section. And then I have these are Disney and I have a, I have a Disney album. This is even a Christmas Disney, so I have that. These are freebies, so that goes in a different spot. I have a, a little a section for um, my girls and this is vlogging. Again, this is Disney. I have a Disney section for that. These will actually go in what you just saw. Actually, I think I'll put those in the, the other album. So these are um, scripts that goes in a certain... These all will go in the same area. Those, this, these will go in the same area. These, that's a freebie. Goes over there. I have a different area for freebies. And these are kits. So these are mini kits, so they go in a specific area as well. And this is a teeny kit, so it goes in its own area. And then I have scripts, which I don't have them out here, so I'll put that in another section. There's a freebie. I'm going to save. That's a freebie. So these I'm going to put back in the other section. Okay. 
and this is a mini kit so I was trying to get this out and you know what I forgot to put that with that monthly so let me it's a teeny so these are all scripts this is travel and these are numbers but these are for my Hoban it's a freebie scripts put that over this goes here so I just kind of separate how I'm going to use these I'm not sure about those so let me grab this back out so I want to put this with that May kit. This goes with the Vino kit, the wine kit, this one, I think is what I got that for. It's his birthday, yeah. And these I'm going to put back in here because I got those specifically for this. So I'm just going to stick these in the very front here, the date strips for that one. And then I have a mood tracker or something for this. I need to go see if I have it. So I'm going to pause you guys. Be right back. Okay, guys. I made myself a couple of these. This is These are my emojis. I'm going to fill with that. Okay. So I made myself this. Let me put these out so I can show you what it is. I just, I haven't finished it yet. I'm in the middle of making it. But it's a box. And I have my, I made my own little labels. And I'm making them. And these are all my characters. So they all go in here, and then I have some scripts in the back from Raindrop Some Paper Co. But they're all my, I have my sidebar stuff back here too. But they're all my characters. So if I pull, for instance, if it's like, here's an autumn one, I open it up, and then I have autumn, right? So that's what, how I've organized. And you guys, I love when I'm planning, and because I use the scripts in my um, journals. I love when I'm planning, and I just go, doo -doo -doo, I, it's open, I can just flip right to it. You can see. I just flip right to it, and I just made my own list, kind of went through and did what I felt was I needed to do, and that's where all like these kind of things will go, as well as these. So all these are going to go together. These are the emojis, her emotions, and these are going to go with these. I'm going to use these in my health and wellness journal. So they'll go in here. These will go under my, like, the, I have a health and wellness area, and then I'll put it under, and then I'll put the categories and put these under there as well. So I just have a big old box, and it's been great. It's been working great for that. And I really, really like it that way. So why I have, let me see what else I'm going to do. So this is Christmas. These are the mini kits. So I have these. I think I've shown them before. I'll show them now. I just have these mini binders that I'm, I'm still using. I've used, I used to use these to store all my kits in before I got these. Now these store my mini kits. So I have them by months. Um, so to me, like, for instance, this one is going to be January. And this one's going to be like, oh, oh. July probably so this is my older one I have two of these because I have a lot of mini kits but I'm really happy because I've been working through and using using them down but like this is January so you can see in here I have a mini kit so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in here as well in the pages and I just I had these like stickers that I got from script um, scribble prints co a long time ago and I just left them it has like the week it had the weeks of each year as well but I am um, this one is July, but I just use the monthlies only. So this one is for May. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in May. This is all May. I saw Lord of the Rings. Yeah, this is all May. So there's wine. And then again, June and July. So I just use two per section. You guys, it's been working for me really, really well. I really like it. So it's just kind of how I roll. But anyway, so there's that. So I have, teenies have their own section, and then these are all functionals. You guys have seen my box before for functionals, but I'll show you that. Let me get my other things out. Okay, so here's some of my albums that I've invested in. You guys have kind of shown these here and there. These are all from Simply Gilded. So I have another section for that. And then I have, these will all go in my box. So I have another box that I've shown, but I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But this is how I store the rest of these. So like this one... Just reminded me of like a little map kind of a thing. So I use this for my travel. Um, this one's obviously Christmas. And this one is my Disney Christmas or winter kits. So things like this. Um, so like for instance, these are to me are more Christmassy for December. It's very specific to December. So they could go, these could go in the monthly, but I feel like they are very specific. So I have my kits in here that I feel like are Christmassy and anything else that's Christmassy in here. So I have some countdowns whatever, like some deco, these are like, these are where I put my, um, my um, $2 Tuesdays that I get from Exo Mama Plans, and I actually feel like I'm going to go ahead and put these in the month that I just showed you guys, I kind of want to put them in there, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to put in here, go back to December, 
I feel like that's where I will look for them if I'm looking because that's where everything else is. So see, I have these from last year. I'll stick these here and here. I love those muted colors. They're so pretty. So that's where I put any of my deco. So then when I'm going to use to decorate my Hobonichi, I, I'll just grab a page from in here. And I know that's where it is. And then my Disney. I have Disney kits in here that are all any papers. You can see any die cuts that are, you guys see that? Any die cuts, anything that I think is Disney theme. Like these are what I have I'm going to be using next year. Um, I have them all sectioned off. But in the back here is where I'm going to put, oh no, I don't put those in here. Sorry, wrong, wrong album. This one is my, my Disney's right now. I'm, I'm just in the middle of organizing all these, so they're not organized. I just have them stuck in here. Anything, whoops, anything Disney related is in here, and I'm organizing all that right now. So I'll do a walkthrough with some stuff once it's all done. Um, but I just set them right there. Again, this is from Simply Gilded. And then this is how I have my kits here. So this is my travel kits. So anything that's travel really, you guys I have a lot of stickers because I've been doing this for years. I've been collecting and hoarding these and it's my only thing. So no judgment here, please. Um, anyway, I have these themed and put in alphabetical order. So I have like Alaska here and Alaska, Australia, you know, so I would just go through here and Cape Cod, this is California, Cape Cod, um, these are all I'm going to be using next year. So I have all these. So I just will take these and I'll put them in alphabetical order. So Venice, Morocco, Moroccan, and Amsterdam. So obviously Amsterdam's going to go in the front. So I'll just either, I'll probably end up moving some of these down. So this will go before Australia um, and after Alaska. So it'll go in there. And then Morocco, like I would go through, just move things down. This is Italy. I just, I think that's what I, I'm going to do with this Venice as well. I'm just going to stick it with Italy. Because I got, yeah. And then Japan, Las Vegas is L. I have, I have all the way through here, but Texas even. New York, so it's going to be before New York. I have a lot of New York kits. It's actually going to go right there. That's where that's going to go. So that's how I do my travel, um, in my travel kits. Because I, like I said, I do travel a lot, and I love to have kits that are themed for where I'm going. So that's that. So now let me get the last two things that you guys haven't seen yet are how I put away my scripts. I have a script section for those. And then I also have, oh, you have, and this one as well. So I'll go grab those really quickly. Okay, guys, this is my other bin that I have. These are all functional stickers. And I share these with uh, three daughters. So I have all these in here. And so that's where I will just go through. I made this myself. This was my very first one. And I'll go through and put all these in here. So like this is travel, I have a travel section, I'll just stick it back there. Then I have shopping bags, I have a shopping section, I'll stick that there. So when I'm doing them, I can, I can kind of flip through here. And I find this is honestly the easiest way to plan, is to have it in here. This is stickers. Um, I have a sticker section, I think I do. Uh, and I've added and taken away, and no, oh, I'm gonna put this in the planning section. Um, I've added and taken away, so I have a word section. I just and I've found out what works for me and what's the best organization for me. And I think it, it differs. These go in computers. Um, see, look at this. This is why I ordered another one. See that? I go through them so quickly. So I'm glad I have another one. Um, and that's how I find that I use any of my functionals. So when I'm pre-planning, I can just kind of get them out. So that works really, really well. And I have a small thing here from Happy Scrappy. These are my scripts, and they're in alphabetical order. So I will go ahead and put these ones in there as well. You can see, I think I have one from her before that's in here. Oh, that's not, I'm not showing it, I guess it's not in here. So I'll just stick these in here. And then I have, I haven't, I want to transfer this over to like one of these kind of albums, but this is actually just a photo album that I got at, um, you can see this here, I got it at Michael's and I just put a little stick, or sticker over it, Examama Plans, and these are all her teeny kits that I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this one Oops, that was in the other area. This one in here as well. And normally I have some empty spaces and I'll just stick it in there. These are all Disney in the front. And then Disney, Disney, Disney. And then I have like seasonal stuff. I'll put this in party. There we go. And lastly, I didn't show this, but I thought I would, is I have another one of these that I keep on my vinyls. You can see there. And I keep any of my other seasonal ones here. And since I got my name, I was just going to put these in here so I don't lose them. 
and put them right here in the very front. That's where my name goes. So I have I have a quite an extensive collection, you guys. Like I said, I've been doing this um, for quite a while. These go with the cameras. Um, and it's a hobby of mine, so I love it. And I also share it with three people. This is for four people, so it's not as much as it looks like when you have that many people. So anyway, that is it. The only other thing I do is I do have... Um, these that I'll stick into a pile and then once or twice a month, these are my freebies, I will go ahead and I have these little reusable sticker books. I'll show you guys what one looks like. I have these. This is from, Av uh, this is from I think it's from Perfect Prince Co. And this one's from Avalon and Ninth and I've shown these before but then I just go through and, and put them in here. So I take all of these. This has more like different things like this as well. I love this because I color coded it. But I'll just take these and like just stick them all on there so that when I want them I can find a sticker I know what I'm looking for and I'll go and find something and it works great. So that's what I do. So once or twice, I'll keep these and then once or twice a month on like a Sunday or something when I'm relaxing, I'll just re re -push purchase these into here and then I can make sure everything gets used. So that is everything you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a little, I was kind of quiet on it because I'm not sure how much to share or what to share. But if you guys like it, I, I'm always happy to share with all of you guys because I love all of my subscribers. You guys are amazing. So anyway, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this extra video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.